Welcome to Weight Loss and Wellness for Real, the podcast where people like you get the practical solutions and support you need to permanently lose the physical and mental weight so you can feel better and live the life you want in the body and mind you want. If you're looking to overcome your stress eating, overeating, binging behaviors, and move to a place of freedom with food and your body, you're in the right place. Hello and welcome. Thank you for being here. And if you are new to the podcast, my name is Heather Heinen and I am a licensed mental health therapist as well as a life coach and health and weight loss coach. And I hope you will enjoy and find value in what you're about to learn. I created this podcast to help empower others, empower you to break free from the cycle of binge eating and or overeating and or emotional eating and get you to the weight and the body you want to be in for the rest of your life. With that said, you can maybe hear some birds chirping. I'm sitting outside with my two kitties running around in the yard. It is a beautiful early morning, and you might hear some sounds in the background, but this really is my time to get that early morning sunlight and drink some coffee as well. In today's episode, we're going to explore the incredible potential of your mind in overcoming the challenges of binge eating, overeating, and emotional eating. We're going to discuss effective, practical strategies for managing your thoughts and how to reprogram your brain to create a healthier relationship with food, to stop the incessant food and body chatter, all those thoughts that go on in your head all day long. I know they're there. They've been there for me too. And to get you into the healthy body you want to be in. I hope you are finding something useful from these episodes and this podcast. And if so, please share it with someone else in your life you feel it could benefit. This podcast is also now monetized. So if you really feel you are getting a lot from it and want to help keep it going, please go to the episode show notes. You can just scroll down from wherever you're listening. You'll see a description of the episode. And then you will see it says support this podcast and then there's a link you can click on. You can click on that link and that's where you can support the podcast. Even the smallest donation like 99 cents helps to keep me producing the podcast. And to those of you who have donated, I really, really appreciate the support. I really do appreciate all of you listening and sharing the space with me. Again, just very thankful for all of you. So let's start first by acknowledging that ending binge eating and overeating and emotional eating begins with your mind. Your thoughts are the driving force behind feelings and emotions, which in turn drive your actions and your actions give you your results. So by understanding the connection here, this pattern, you can really take control of your eating habits and your eating patterns. It's really important to recognize that your brain has been conditioned to engage in these behaviors. Over time, we teach our brain to turn to food as a way to cope with emotions, stress, or other triggers. Our brain perceives this as a really, I guess what I, like a really valid strategy because it provides temporary relief and pleasure in the moment. But the problem is, as most of you listening know, most of us deep down possess a higher a higher conscious part of our brain, that wise mind, that authentic self that seeks long-term well-being and aligns with your desire to break free from these destructive habits. I like to refer to this part of our brain, as I mentioned, as the wise mind or the higher brain or again, our authentic self, authentic self, and the habitual part of your brain, the the lower part of our brain um, as our brain or the lower brain, that part that runs those patterns and habits of going to food to shift out of a feeling, um, that lower part that drives us to binge, all those sort of things. Now, the first step in managing your mind is to recognize the resistance from your brain. Okay, it's going to urge you hard (laughs) to continue to binge eat or overeat or emotionally eat because it really views these actions as a familiar, as a very effortless way to find comfort. 
but you have the power to challenge these thoughts and these beliefs, to challenge your brain. And that's what I really want you to hear. You have the power to challenge and eventually change these thoughts and beliefs. So by setting really clear goals and expectations for yourself, you become the authority over your life. Think of yourself, you know, as the manager responsible for guiding your brain towards healthier choices. Just as a manager at a business enforces new guidelines to produce winning outcomes, you enforce new habits and patterns in your mind. I also, and I've talked about this in past episodes, I like, um, to think about that part of our brain needing to enforce those guidelines and get clear, kind of like a loving parent. A loving parent sets clear guidelines and enforces them with the child they love when needed. If we can act and behave and speak to ourselves as a loving parent, setting guidelines for ourselves and responding in a loving parental way when guidelines are broken and or offering lots of kudos and praise when guidelines are followed, we create new and more productive brain patterns that are much more useful for our goals on, you know, wanting to stop binging or overeating. And, you know, for many of uh, um, you listening out there, you know, really getting to that weight loss goal and staying there for life. We also need to understand that change does not come easily. So your brain is going to resist and that creates discomfort, And, you know, even attempting, the the brain kind of attempts to rationalize why you should continue the old habits. But as the manager of your mind or the parent of your mind, the loving parent of your mind, it's your responsibility to stand your ground and communicate your intentions to your brain. So really, here's kind of the nuts and bolts of how I break this down to really start to change your brain habit patterns. You must engage in a dialogue with your brain. You need to be talking to your brain, having a conversation, explaining why you want to end binge eating to your brain and why you want to end overeating to your brain. You need to address its concerns when the brain throws up concerns at you and then acknowledge, you know, yeah, I get it, brain. It does give me temporary pleasure, but then highlighting the long-term consequences on your well-being of continuing with this habit, of continuing with this pattern. So you're really helping your brain understand that there are healthier and more sustainable ways to cope with emotions and triggers. And by the way, you probably all know who've been listening while I'm going to say this, journaling uh, to parts of your brain, you know, is it, it can be super helpful as you're trying, if you're not used to having conversations with yourself, talking to your brain in this way, thinking of having conversations between different parts of you, if you're not used to that, then journaling can really be helpful to kind of get this process going. It's essential (laughs) to be patient and consistent in your efforts. Retraining your brain does take time. Setbacks will occur along the way, but it's really about not giving up and staying consistent, reminding yourself of the reasons why you started this journey, and then really working to stay committed to your goals. As you continue to practice managing your mind, you can really explore different tools and techniques that work best for you. Everybody is totally different. So, you know, this could involve developing a support network, maybe seeking professional guidance, practicing mindfulness, or finding alternative coping mechanisms. Each person's path is unique and it's important to find what resonates with you. Remember that you are in control of your mind and your actions. When your brain resists change and tries to pull you back into old habits, reinforce your commitment to a healthier lifestyle. Use that dialogue technique. Have conversations with your brain. Practice staying firm in your decisions, even when discomfort arises, and trust that your efforts are going to bring positive results. Breaking free from binge eating and overeating is a challenging journey, (laughs) but it is one I promise you that is worth pursuing. By mastering your mind and managing your thoughts, you can transform your relationship with food and really regain control of your life. And there is so much freedom in that. And if you feel you need some support and help and accountability along the way, that's why I'm here. So get in touch through, well, you can get in touch anywhere through my Instagram handle, Heinen Counseling and Coaching. Heinen is spelled H-E-Y-N-E-N. 
or you can email me directly at info at heatherheinen.com or you can go to my website, heatherheinen.com and contact me from that space. Um, any of it, I'm here to help. Okay, that's all for today's episode. Come next time as I am going to delve deeper into really specific techniques and practices that can stop binge eating and end overeating and emotional eating for good. Thanks for being here. And if you found something of value, think you know someone who might benefit, please pass the episode or the podcast along. Um, Anytime you post a link to me or this podcast on social media, that really helps. Or if you could just leave a review from the platform you're listening from, that really helps me keep this podcast going and putting a new episode out there every week. Thanks again. Talk soon. Did you know you can find a lot more help from me on my website? Go to heatherheinen.com. Heinen is spelled H-E-Y-N-E-N. And get in touch with questions on all things I offer like online courses for overeating, weight loss, goal attainment, and also my coaching and counseling services. Just a reminder that this podcast represents my own opinions. The content here should not be taken as medical advice. The content here is for educational and informational purposes only. Please consult your doctor or healthcare professional for any individual medical questions you may have.